Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm coming to you again with another message. I want to go ahead and give you this one tonight because it has another word from the Lord from another person that doesn't normally have a message in Dawn's newsletters. The first one, though, we'll begin with is Small Straws in a Soft Wind. This is dated October 4th, but today is October 5th. It's Tuesday, October 5th, 2021. When you are slighted or treated with contempt, resist the urge to retaliate. That is not the way of righteousness. I have given you the grace to overcome evil with good and to respond with kindness and forgiveness. Yippers, that's that way we have to live, y'all. 1 Peter 3, 9. Do not repay evil with evil or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with a blessing because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. This next one is called Supernatural. And it was received on September 23rd by Patty Young. Excuse me. I don't know if I've shared any of hers on YouTube before. But I have read some, seen some. I believe this young lady or whoever... However, she's young in the Lord. <coughs> Excuse me. I do not know her personally, but I believe she hears from the Lord. Let us listen to this one and judge it with the Holy Spirit. The Lord said, wait a minute, Patty Young, the Lord spoke to me today. This was on the 23rd. The Lord said, Get used to living in the supernatural. For are you not living among the dead? Yep, we are. Things are about to take place in the earth that are unknown to mankind. The supernatural events both among the living and among the dead. Spiritually dead is, I believe that he's referring to that right there. Our neighbors who you know what. Am I not the God of all might and miracles follow me? Am I not the creator of all things? But I say there is a traitor among you who shall soon rise up. And great and miraculous things he shall perform. But these are not of me. That has to be the Antichrist. Because it says he will do, do great marvelous things so as to fool people. A deception shall mirror my works among the people. Only those with an eyes to see and you think that's a typo our eye our single eye is the eye we need to see and that is our pineal gland brothers and sisters and that is not new age that is the truth Satan and his minions took what we know to be true now this knowledge that the pineal gland is how we communicate with Father and Jesus how the Holy Spirit it gets a message from them to us that we hear it, not audibly, but in our spirit. Okay. All right. Google Meet calls. Let me hurry up with this. A deception shall mirror my works among the people. Only those with an eye to see shall know that I am not in the midst of his deception. His works of his father, the evil one, who is a liar and prince of thieves. See, it's not Satan himself. It's the Antichrist. I say unto my people, come up higher, rise up into the heavenlies, for I shall impart unto you all of these things that are of my kingdom, that are not of your world. 
The blind shall see, the deaf shall hear, the lame shall walk, the afflicted shall be set free, the imprisoned no longer bound. The dishonored shall now be honored and sought after, for all these things are to come, and I shall pour them out unto my own power, not of this world, but of me. For am I not life? Kingdom shall rise against kingdom, but the earth has yet to see what I am about to impart to my own. I shall pour out as he has never done been as has never been done. My kingdom comes and I will set down upon the earth with my power and my might and my glory shall be revealed throughout all the earth. Man shall settle in his heart at the finalizing of all things. Whom shall you serve? That's right. The finalizing of all things. Whom shall you serve? As for me and my house, me and my little doggy, we will serve the Lord. October 4th, this was received. Something that should be working well and needs to be working well has taken a bad turn. You and others are trying to fix it, but as yet it hasn't worked. For your well-being, it needs to be working efficiently. You need to try something else, and if that does not work, seek help. Of course, seek me. You know to do that. You also need to seek someone who really knows how to fix this problem. That's for somebody. And if that hits home to you, then you'll know it if it's for you. There's different kind of problems he could be talking about. He could be talking to me about these cataracts that I've been trusting Jesus to let them dissolve off my eyes. As we prayed over them and, and they said it's it's been done. It is finished. Just walk out. Your, walk it out. Work out your faith, in other words. Just keep believing. They'll be healed. They'll be gone. And yet, every, each day I see less and less. Lord, I pray you will give me the attitude I need to have toward this. And that it be all in your hands and out of mine. You take control. If you want me healed, I say, heal my eyes in Jesus' name. If it be Father's will. If it's okay with you for me to have cataract surgery, then let me know that too, Jesus. Please, I pray in your precious name. Because folks, this is getting harder and harder. And I'm going to try to see if I can get a grant or some financial assistance for it. Isaiah 30, 18 says in the NASB, Therefore the Lord longs to be gracious to you, and therefore he waits on high to have compassion on you. For the Lord is a God of justice. How blessed are all those who long for him. I like that. That uh, was given to Bev Robinson. See how a lot of these little ones they get are like a, instruction more than a prophecy you see that or maybe it's just an encouragement the last one here dated october 4th adversities come in every possible shape and fashion imaginable what you do with those trials can make or break you some tests are brought across your path to test your tenacity do you see a problem or an opportunity? Try your best to see tests as a learning occasion. Even in the face of adversity, be willing to try something new. Tough times don't last. You will endure. All right, now lastly it says, James chapter 1 verses 2 to 4 in the Voice Bible voice. Have I heard of this? Don't remember. 
It says, don't run from tests and hardships, brothers and sisters. As difficult as they are, you will ultimately find joy in them if you embrace them. Your belief will blossom under pressure and teach you true patience as you endure. And true patience brought on by endurance will equip you to complete the long journey and cross the finish line mature, complete, and wanting nothing. And that was received by Kevin Robinson. With that I say, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us, everybody that watches this, and all of your devices and your internet connections. And now I'll say bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to you again soon.